We've got another live image of the Mate 30 Pro and news that it may be coming sooner than we thought, but I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So first up, we've got another live image that surfaced of the Mate 30 Pro, and while in a protective case again, it falls in line with all of the images and leaks we've seen so far. The next information comes from a Russian tech blog who have revealed that the Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro will be powered by the latest Kirin 990 system on chip. They've also advised that the phone's going to be launching on the 19th of September, which is much earlier than we expected, although the 5G edition is expected to launch in December. The phone's going to be launching with Android Q in the form of EMUI 10, but the Russian tech blog is claiming that the device is not going to come preloaded with Google services due to the current conflicts with USA. Industry sources have previously revealed that the Mate 30 Pro is going to be equipped with a 6.71 inch AMOLED display. It's said that the display is going to be very curved on both sides, reports are claiming a 90Hz display and we've got a narrow notch to support 3D face unlock. It's of course going to be powered by the Kirin 985 or 990 chipset depending on what they call it. This is manufactured using 7 nanometer extreme ultraviolet lithography and it will bring 20% better performance over the previous 980. There's also going to be a 5G version released later on in the year. There have been rumors suggesting the device is going to come with 5 rear cameras, but the latest renders and leaks clearly tell us 4 with an LED flash. The Mate 30 Pro is reportedly going to be using a 40 megapixel main camera along with another 40 megapixel ultra wide lens. The ultra wide camera will be of a similar size to the P30 Pro's main camera, but for the Mate 30 Pro main camera, they've gone with an even larger module. It's said to be powered by a 4200 milliamp hour battery, and it's also going to come with 55 watt supercharged technology that's already available on the Mate X foldable. As well as this, it's also reportedly going to contain 10 watt reverse wireless charge technology. Of course, Huawei are pushing their nano memory cards, so we can expect support for expandable storage, and 128 gig storage will likely be the minimum variant. With the rest of the market going so high, we can of course expect something like a 12 gigabyte RAM version. When it comes to pricing, not much has been revealed yet, but the Mate 20 Pro launched at £899 and $1,150, so we can likely expect the same, if not a little bit higher. We've already had confirmations of a Mate 30 Lite, as it's already been certified on Tenor, so we'll get a standard Mate 30, a Mate 30 Lite, of course the Mate 30 Pro, and we're hoping for a Mate 30X, but we haven't had any leaks on that yet. The Mate 30 Pro was expected to launch in October, but as we saw earlier, it may now be the 19th of September, so it's not going to be long until we have all the details, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Who is waiting to order one of the Mate 30s, and if it doesn't come with Google services pre-installed, will that be stopping you purchasing? But thank you for watching the video, if you liked it, smash a thumbs up, if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.